Hi everyone. In today's art lesson, we're going to be looking at sushi. Yes, art is everywhere. Sushi is a very popular Japanese dish and has been around for a long period of time. It was first heard of in China in the second century. Originally, it's actually a way of preserving food. But nowadays, it has evolved to another level beyond the traditional Japanese method. Not only does sushi taste good, but it also looks good. Each piece of sushi is carefully made and the colours and textures look beautiful on your plate. It's almost like a work of art. And so for today's project, we are going to be looking a little bit closer at sushi. We're going to be looking at the elements of colour, shape and texture. One of the first shapes that I think of when I think of sushi is the cylinder. The Californian rolls are cut into cylinders. Here's a little diagram that will help you to draw a cylinder. The next shape that I think of is a triangular prism. The fashion sandwiches are normally cut into triangles. See if you can think of some other shapes that sushi might be made into. For today's project, we're going to be doing a collage. So you could use magazines, colored card or wrapping paper, beads, kitchen towel, or a variety of other materials that you might have lying around at home. Fabric, ribbon, washi tape. The sky's the limit. So be creative and think of all sorts of interesting things that you could use. Using some of the materials, shapes, colours and textures that we've discussed, here's a little time lapse of me making a few little sushi rolls. I've made Californian rolls, fashion sandwiches, I've made some rice negri, all sorts of different kinds. If you're not sure, have a look at some pictures of sushi to give you some inspiration as to the different types you can use. The kitchen towel is brilliant for making it look like a rice texture. Otherwise, you could just draw little dots onto white paper to show that there's rice. Now with sushi, we always have soy sauce and wasabi and a little bit of ginger on the side. So to do this, I've traced around two little dishes and I've collaged it using brown paper and green paper. Now to plate up. Arrange your sushi in a way that you think would look nice. Don't forget the chopsticks. If you've enjoyed this project, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.